Hello, Sagittarius. It's me, Elle, here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's get into it. I know. I know why you're here. You're here for love. So let's talk about it. All right, let's see what's going on for Sagittarius and love. What's happening for my Sag? Seven of Swords. Ooh, not, not too good. Um, so this could just be hiding, sneaking, trickery, lies, deception, really wanting to go with it alone, really wanting to be the lone wolf, but, um, you know, masquerading like you don't. Or this is someone else, Page of Cups. You could be dealing with somebody who's emotionally immature. You know that they're doing something or sneaky behind your back. Or um, you just know that there is no no guard or no gover governance. Like this person doesn't govern themselves accordingly. This person could be doing something behind your back. They could be younger than you. Yeah, the magician here could be you uh, with the magician coming up. Somebody's saying something, but it's a lie. Yeah, whatever. The, it's misrepresentation and miscommunication. Um, but this is an outright lie here. Um, somebody could want to break up, you know, um, it could be a masculine energy. who wants to break up. Somebody has some idea that somebody is cheating or lying or that there's a third party. Uh, what else is going on for a Sag here? Yeah. Nine of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody really wants to be single. We talked about that. They want to be single, independent, do their own thing. They really don't want a relationship. Um, the moon card and they're keeping it from you. Could be dealing with Pisces, uh, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, hidden secrecy or hidden enemy, the world card. It's like somebody secretly wants this to be done. You know, they want to be by themselves. They want to do their own thing. They don't want to be in this cycle anymore. It's driving them mad or nuts. Yeah. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's like somebody intuitively knows how somebody feels right now. That there is somebody else or something else. And that somebody just doesn't want the relationship anymore. That it's over. Let's see. What else do we have for a Sag here? What type of relationship is this? Okay. The Grim Reaper. Yeah, somebody's saying the relationship is over. No second chances. Somebody's done. You know, what is this about for Sagittarius? Um, Cupid's arrow, hope, faith, love is coming. Yeah, somebody is um invitation or meeting, hesitation. It's like somebody wants to be somewhere else or they know that they just need to go and love themselves. Um, love call, yes. Yeah, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you. So it's like, yeah, somebody really wants to be somewhere else with someone else, or there is a third party here. Let's see what else. Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Ego and jealousy. So somebody's super jealous. They don't give enough. It's just they're done. Somebody is um listening to their ego. This could be a karmic relationship. Let's see what the advice is for you, Sag. What is the advice for Sagittarius? What is the advice for Sagittarius? What is the advice? Okay, what's the advice for Sagittarius? Okay, Five of Swords, sharpening your words. Five of Swords at the bottom of this deck too. Um, there's somebody playing mind games, mentals with, with you. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. Sharpen your words. Don't cower down. Don't back down. Don't be defeated by this. Somebody's been playing games. It's time to just cut your losses here. Say your peace and move on. What is the advice? Wow. As I say that, your card came out temperance. It's time to, you know, get some emotional balance back with you because maybe you aren't. You're all over the place. Another card for you also, the Ten of Wands. You need to let it go. And you're holding on to something. And you don't even know where it's going. You don't know what you're doing. You're just carrying it. Maybe because you've carried it for so long. This could be a karmic connection, meaning it just just. It had no destination from the start. You guys didn't start that way. It just, you know, started off some other way. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Sagittarius like yourself. Another Sag card, Nine of Wands. Um, you need to quit looking at this and, and asking yourself, should you give it more time? Change your mind. Change your life. 
here. Yeah, come out renewed. Come out on the other side of this page of wands. Um, do your own thing if this is what you want to do. But don't stay here stuck and maybe even dragging somebody else through the mud or vice versa, letting someone else drag you. Um, yeah, three of cups. Go talk to siblings or somebody or friends or group that can give you best advice or better advice. Um, this is what I have for you, Sag. If it resonates, go over to the website, book. The, some of you want to go to somebody that's outside of the relationship. You want to reconcile with somebody here. This is what I have for you. Um, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you.